today I'm going to prep my face with the ProRazzo pre-shave cream, the large, uh, well it's 300 milliliters or 10.9 ounces it says here on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my face with this. I'll be right back. I thought I would go ahead and do that off camera just uh, so the video is not so long. And I'm going to be using this gem, uh, it's a push button. Uh, you push the button back here to open it, flip top razor. In there I have a gem blade on its first use. And my soap, actually it's a cream, is going to be this ProRazzo Wood and Spice, which uh, somebody told me this has been discontinued, but uh, I mean, this is going to be my second time using this. I liked it the first time, and I haven't used it on camera yet, so I'll use that. I've already lathered up my brush, which is uh, the conversational shaving brush, a uh, synthetic nice knot on it, and it's uh, from, Fr excuse me, from Frank Shaving. I'm using the ProRazzo plastic mug I've lathered in that, and let me go ahead and try to apply a lather to my face. I hope you're all doing well out there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Smells nice and feels nice. Yeah. Oops, a little bit wet. Kind of dropping some lather on the floor here. And I think this will be just fine. I'll go ahead and get started here. And let me wet the razor. And we'll start pass number one with the grain. About a day's worth of growth here. Now let me rinse the razor. Okay, go to the other side of the face here. Feeling pretty good so far, but I can tell this is a very sharp blade. For a single edge gem type blade, it is pretty sharp. I need to take it a little bit easy, not apply too much pressure to the razor. To the chin now, or under the lip anyway. Well, how are you all this week? I hope you're doing well. Um, I guess I already said that, but uh, I was reading a book. I haven't read a book in several years. <laughs> I used to read all the time, or at least a lot more often. Read a book about the long, well, the now long since gone uh, streetcars of Wichita, Kansas. Excuse me. Here's the book. Someone finally published a book on the subject. And I had a grandfather that used to be a streetcar conductor there many, many moons ago, like a hundred years ago. So I thought I would read a book about that. Got a weeper up here already. I had already read part of a book, a much bigger book about the much bigger uh, streetcar system that used to be in Omaha, Nebraska. They got rid of their last streetcars in 1955. Wichita, Kansas got rid of theirs in 1935. But 
but Omaha is a larger city, so they had a bigger streetcar system and maybe more streetcars to get rid of, I don't know. At least they had more routes and longer routes. Wichita did not become what I would call a large or even a medium-sized city until later. In the 1940s, it started to become larger, for one thing, due to the, the war. The aircraft industry there was big. They had lots of government contracts. And that's neither here nor there. It has nothing to do with shaving, so what good is it, right? Well, I'll be right back, and uh, then I'll go across the grain. Time to go across the grain now. And I guess that book made good bathroom reading because I had it here in the bathroom. <clears throat> anyway. Does anyone read anymore? I'm sure they do, but... Uh, you got the internet, you got TV, all this technology. You may be wondering what I think of the shave cream. I like it a lot. In fact, I like it better uh, the second time me using it than I did the first time. It was nice the first time, and it's really nice right now. Nice scent. It's still got a lot of the uh, original... Prorazzo menthol scent, but it does have the wood and spicy notes. Very pleasant stuff. Very nice to use. Like, a, like most creams, I guess, it lathers pretty easily. Okay. To the neck now. Okay. Seems like when I go across the grain on my neck, I really have to be careful. Seems like that's the tenderest, is going across the grain on my neck. And I won't go too crazy doing that. My face is already a little red, but my face gets red very easily whether I'm shaving or not. I have this big tomato head, you see, and the red shirt doesn't help. But anyway, I'll be right back and then we'll go against the grain. Okay, now it's time to go against the grain here. Hey, I've also, uh, well, I've also got a map of Kansas over here. Things I look at when I'm uh, when I'm in the necessity room and not shaving, I guess, uh, or showering. Anyway, I'll start on the neck on this pass. Try to do it carefully. I guess no one really wants to know about my bathroom reading habits. But maybe that's also a way of saying 
Well, me telling you what my bathroom reading habits are, or I should say my necessity room reading habits, I guess. Um, huh. uh, it's a, just another way of saying you can get an education just about anywhere. In high school, I once took a class, a history class that was about the American city and the phases of growth it went through. The typical American city, that is. And the streetcars helped create some of the earliest suburbs before everybody had an automobile. Uh, suburban areas grew up along streetcar lines. And I could get really in-depth into all this, but, uh, well, this is a shaving channel. Of course, it's a conversation channel, too, ostensibly. Something to cause conversation, if nothing else. To help stimulate the lost art of conversation. But I must admit, I'm kind of at the bottom of my personality this week. I'm very tired. And I'm going to have to make twice as many cut cutaways or cuts in this video because I have to rinse the razor twice as much. And I don't think that's an exciting thing everybody wants to watch. Uh, me with my head down here running water over a razor. Which maybe you couldn't see even the top of my head, I don't know. Like now. And I'm trying to keep this video short, too. Usually I make my shaves longer, more leisurely events, but uh, I'm just so tired uh, right now. So my apologies if this is not the most in-depth video about shaving or streetcars or cities or history. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy uh, there above the lip going against the grain. Again, I don't want more irritation, but so far so good. I'll come back and then it'll be pickup time. Okay, everybody, what time is it? It's pickup time. Yay, pickup time. Like the sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. I don't believe I'll go for BBS on this shave because uh, this gem blade, although kind of efficient for a gem style blade, single edge, is also very sharp and I think uh, something that would be very easy to irritate my skin with. Or at the very least, it's something I shouldn't use when I feel like I'm in a hurry. Some people try to get uh, videos, TV shows, movies in under budget. I'm just trying to get this one in uh, with a decent time. That is not too long that feels pretty good even though I'm not going for BBS that uh, cream by itself seems to make the skin awfully soft and supple and uh, well it's just really nice smelling and uh, pleasant stuff to use uh, and more expensive than regular pro razzo creams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm going to pop out and I'll pop back in. I'm going to rinse my face, rinse the razor and, and the brush, 
I'll come back and uh, then I'll dry off with Mr. Tao. Say hello to our good friend, Mr. Tao. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Mm. That's feeling good right there. I know my face is a little red, but that's not, like I said, that's not just from shaving. I think my blood pressure goes up sometimes, maybe for no good reason. I'm not mad at anything, I, or upset, not yet anyway. And, uh, well, my face uh, just always gets red. Used to upset my grandmother. I'd come running in from outside and my face would be beet red, she said. As red as this shirt. I guess she thought I was going to stroke out or something at a very young age. Okay, well, uh, I'll also, I'll start a little recap here before I put the finishing touches on the shave. As you might recall, I started out, I prepped my face with the Prorazzo. Uh, this is the menthol and eucalyptus, the large size tub of pre-shave cream. My razor has been this flip top gem razor. And then there is a gem blade, uh, which was on its first use. Very sharp and uh, somewhat smooth, but mostly sharp. My brush, the synthetic uh, conversational shaving brush, uh, hopefully you can see that if the camera will focus, from, uh, from Frank Shaving. Thank you, Ming Lee of Frank Shaving for that. And uh, my, my mug, my cup uh, has been this, well, a Prorazzo plastic shaving mug. So if you drop it, it won't break. Very nice. Okay, now, let's see, I hope I didn't forget anything. I'm going to apply some of the Equate Walmart store brand Witch Hazel. And since this does have some alcohol in it, there could be some sting, we'll see. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Feels nice though. And now since I was using kind of a weld, they, I didn't show you this by the way, so I did forget something. This was my cream by the way. Since I was using the Pro Razzo Wood and Spice Cream, and I'm sorry I forgot to uh, show you that in the recap earlier. Since I used that, I'm gonna, for my aftershave, use some of the Pinot Clubman Special Reserve, which I think is kind of woodsy and spicy scented in a way yeah, just a little bit of that work that in the hands put a little on the wrists a little on the temples behind the ears back of the neck so that's pretty nice a couple of things that might not ordinarily go together pro razzo and that uh, this form of the Pinot Clubman, the Special Reserve Aftershave Cologne, they kind of go together, uh, considering that, once again, the cream I used was the Prorazzo Wood and Spice cream. Okay, and now, to finish, the Prorazzo, the blue uh, uh, aftershave balm here. I'll just put a little bit of that in my hand. I, I didn't have the wood and spice variety of this or any uh, wood and spice Pro Razzo aftershave, but uh, I believe all these things will go together all right. Yeah, smelling good and feeling good. And I'll, on that note, I'll leave you, but please come back next week. And hopefully I won't be quite so far down to the bottom of my personality and a little perkier. Peace.